Now that we've pulled up our script in Final Draft, let's talk about why it's good to have the program read the script back. Well, for me as a writer, it does a few things. It helps me understand the flow of the story better hearing it. Your brain works differently reading and hearing information, and you can learn something different from each of those methods. So I like to do all of the methods, and hearing the program read it back to me is a very easy way to get an audio interpretation of the script. Also, when I'm hearing it back, it helps me identify places where dialogue's not working. Dialogue really separates amateur writers from professional writers, and hearing your dialogue out loud is a great way to pick up on anything that doesn't sound really natural or it's maybe a little choppy. Also, you want your characters to each have their own distinct voice, and hearing the program read their words can help you identify which lines are not written in their style. Also, when I'm having the program read to me, it forces me to slow down. I'm a person who reads very, very quickly, and I often find myself skipping sentences or whole paragraphs. Sometimes I might even skip a whole page if I think, yeah, I know that page really well and it's good. That's all, um, those are all ways to miss really important mistakes or miss opportunities to flesh out more from your script and from your characters. So I like being forced to slow down my read. Also, in terms of proofreading, having the program read back to you is an awesome, awesome tool. It can help you pick out words that are spelled correctly so they won't get pilled up, picked up in spell check, um, but they're not the right word. So uh, when you're hearing it out loud, you automatically notice, oh, that's, that's incorrect. Whereas sometimes if you're reading it, your eyes see the right word spelled, they see the word spelled correctly, and we trick ourselves into thinking that it's the right word and, and just kind of move on. But that's not always the case. And so again, hearing the information back to you um, so that you can process it in an audio way gives you another layer of understanding of your work. So let's dive in. So here in our final draft toolbar, we have lots of, you know, lots of tabs to work with. We're going to go into our tools right now. And in our tools, you'll see this speech control panel. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to assign voices. So we're going to click on assign voices and it's going to bring us up a pop-up box. We're going to have three tabs. We have our characters, that's where we will assign what voice we want each person to speak in. We have our narrator. Here we can choose the voice that we want the narrator to speak in and what the narrator is going to actually read us. And then our third tab is our actors. This is where we assign the voices to each, um, each actor, uh, each one of these. So I always start with my actors on the right. And you can see that I've got all these choices, these presets, but they don't actually have preset voices over here in the right hand side. So I'm going to start with man number one. And I don't personally change the names of the actors, um, but that's you can if you want to. So I'm just going to go with man number one and I'm going to make him David. I'm going to leave his pitch right in the middle and I'm going to leave his speed right in the middle. Now I can adjust these. Um, Pitch I will be adjusting for different characters. Speed I will not. Here's why. Let's take a little preview listen. Hello. Hello. This is Man 1. Now, if I go even just a little bit faster, just the next click up, it becomes unlistenable. Hello. Hello. This is Man 1. And if I go slower, it might be good for certain characters, but I don't use it often. Hello. Hello. This, this is Man, man one. 1. So really, you want to be right in the middle on your speed. Now tone is a different matter. Changing the pitch is how we're going to create different character voices. So for now, we'll we'll leave man one right Hello, in the middle. Hello, this is this man, is man one. one. Now I'll go to man two, and I'll use David again, but I'm going to give him a lower pitch. Hello, Hello this, is, this man is man two. Okay, you see that? Now for woman one, I'll change that to zero. I'll leave it right in the middle. Hello. Hello. This is this woman, is woman one. one. And for woman two, I'm going to go higher. And this is your preference. Hello. Hello. This is woman, this two. woman two. 
Oh, see, now I changed my speed accidentally. I got to put that back. Now I'm going to go ahead and assign a narrator voice. So I'm going to choose a woman. I'm going to choose woman one. I can have her read everything to me, or I can uncheck things that I don't want her to read. I typically don't have the narrator read the character names um, just because I like to hear the flow. But when I'm on a proof read, I will have them read the character names so I can pick up on any misspellings in the character names. Um, so this is, this is instead of saying, you ready, dude? Let's do this. It's going to say, Emma, you ready, dude? Emma, let's do this. So that's what the character is, is your actual character name on your page before their dialogue. So I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and leave it for now so that we can get a full preview of what the program does. Then with our characters, we're just going to go through and assign what voice we want them to speak in. So I'm going to give Emma a woman's voice, and I know I gave the narrator woman one, so I'll give Emma woman two. Um, and on and on, and you assign all of your characters the voices that you want them to have. Okay, then when you're done with all of this, you're going to click OK. And now that I have all my voices assigned, I can put my cursor anywhere in the script where I want to start the read. Um, oh, look at that. I have a bad wording right here. Anyway, we'll go ahead and start it right here. Hit play. 35. 35. Skeptical. So I'm in the tools tab in the speech control box here. All I did was hit play. Scientific. Flaky. Flaky. Steps, Steps over, over to, to the, the control, control panel. panel. Emma. Emma. You ready? Dude? Emma's POV Judas, a black, black and white cat, cat looks on with zero interest. interest. Emma. Emma. Let's do this. Now I can go ahead and hit pause, which is also the play button, to stop right where I am. And then if I hit play again, it'll pick up right where I stopped. Computer, Computer. VO. Initiating infusion. Or I can go ahead and hit stop and stop the read completely. can fast forward from here to the next paragraph, and I can go backwards to the previous paragraph as well. So there you have it, a little tutorial in how to get Final Draft to read to you. I hope this has been super helpful for you. Go ahead and drop me a note. Let me know how you benefit from having your scripts read back to you and what else you'd love to see on Final Draft tutorials. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Happy writing.